Well, welcome back to Cannabis Talk 101 with Blue, Joe Grande, Mark and Craig Wasserman, the Pop Brothers at Law, as they're all missing in action due to injuries or court appearances or some other crazy thing that's happened this week. But guys, it's myself here, Mr. Blue, or Christopher Wright, here with Adam Grossman, the founder of Papa and Barkley. You can find them at PapaandBarkley.com and on Instagram at PapaandBarkley.com, or Papa, at pa- Papa and Barkley, right? Exactly. Yeah, and you know what, guys? I'll tell you what. What time is it? Dime time! It's dime time, guys. Dime. Think higher with Dime Industries. Find them in California, Arizona, Oklahoma. Dime Industries has been a leading trusted source for clean and potent medicine using state-of-the-art hardware, including premium food-grade stainless steel glass, ceramic plates, and enhanced battery life. This 1,000 milligram cartridge is an amazing cartridge. Check them out at dimeindustries.com or on Instagram at dime.industries. They do have a great product, guys. You should really check that out. You know, one of the things I I, I try to do is find, you know, good product lines, and and, uh, Dime does have a a quality product out there. Uh, You know, so, listen, you know, I I, I really, I really, really, really like your story because, to to me, I I think a lot of people don't realize, um, Adam, that the industry comes from a compassionate place. Like, the cannabis industry is is unique in, in... you know, and there's a lot of, and I, I'm all for making money, you know, and I, I'm all about making money. I, I don't have no problem making money, by the way. But I, but I think there's a lot of people that come in and, and, and grab, you know, they're looking to grab. And, and, I, and I don't think there's a problem with that either, as, as long as you have a good product, you know. But you have one of those product lines that, that, you know, you guys are doing well. You guys are very well known. But you have a real story that it starts with that makes it so compassionate and then the message that you continue to deliver is powerful right and it's like every time i i, I talk to you guys or talk about you guys or, or hear about you guys it's always something in the compassionate realm and, and that to me is is why you'll be forever here do you know what i mean like i look at that and i go you know there's a lot of companies that i i've seen come and go throughout the the years and years of being involved in this And some of them are, you know, have done a lot of money. They're just like, I'm just done. I'm out, you know, and it's like, okay, cool, good. And then there's some that are here because, and and they're not going to be here tomorrow. I I really believe, you know, you have one of those brands that are just going to be here forever. And, and that's huge. You know, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, and I hate to use this analogy because, you know, they're not even close to the same, you know, but. Coors Light, Bud Light, you know, or vodka, Tito's, or, 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 you know, one of these major Budweiser's, you know, you're a, Papa's, Papa and Barkley is a, is a staple in the cannabis community, you know? Well, you know, we, we, um, where we've done well, I think, is here in California, and sometimes you can be overly California-centric. It's, mm-hmm. it, it's, it's definitely challenging business to to be profitable and given all the regulatory costs and everything but I, I appreciate what you're saying about the strength of the brand and and I really think it, it does come from the mix of having a true mission and some of the things that we stick to that are not always the easiest things to do all the products that we make we make without chemicals and they're all full spectrum products mm. so like when you cook the the oil in 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 sorry cook the cannabis flour in coconut oil in the crock pot um the full spectrum of the plant if you took a certificate of analysis on on that plant the breakdown and percentages of thc cbd cbg the full spectrum um and then you took a similar test of the oil it's going to reflect those same ratios so that, sure. that we always so that's that the full spectrum concept which you understand well so, so none of the, yeah but none of the, none of the, you don't do any um you know broad spectrum at all no everything we do is full spectrum everything solventless and um, and i want to ask you this I, and i'm trying to find the right words because you know i've heard you know sometimes broad spectrum is snake oils or you know do you believe that or do you think that just it's just a different, uh, you know, uh, different layout? You know, I mean, is this look? I, I think that there's there's benefits in different formulations, and it's it's highly variable. But in terms of a philosophy for us, it's sort of what you introduce when you have um, broad spectrum or isolate is a 
a process that's more akin to like the pharmaceutical industry where you're isolating an individual molecule or the THC or the CBD. Right. What we're doing is more akin to plant medicine and the artisanal methods to just take this amazing medicinal plant, and keep it, it intact, you. and then transfer it into products. So if you think about when you cook it into the oil, since the it's lipid-based, it's sticky, waxy, yeah. it's an oil, so it, it binds to the molecules in the oil and then it's melted into the other. It's a little different than you isolate the powdered version of the medicine and then mix it into a cream right. that's going to give you a different result so for us that's where it's real where some of the more traditional methods artisanal methods and mechanical methods that preserve the the integrity of the plant that's why we think we make better products wow yeah that's awesome dude and, and you know I, i've actually um you know used some of the product in uh years ago and it's has the formula changed or has it always been the same <laughs> no the um you know <laughs> When I first met Guy, my partner, and we started looking at, at making the bomb at scale as our first product, he, he his background as a sophisticated grower and formulator was doing he was doing BHO extractions in the in the shed behind the house, mm -hmm. and and we were filling carts, et cetera. But we tried to make the bomb with an isolate or or even a BHO extract, and it just wasn't the same. There's this notion that resonated with me about. The, the, the bomb is green, it's got plant matter in there. And this whole, I, I visualize it rubbing it on my dad, who, you know, and the, the whole plant would absorb into his body and then. But it was green, it was like, yeah. yeah it, it, you're it, like, what's going on? It's gotta yeah. be green. So when yeah. he made it, it's like, nah, it's just not the same. It's this whole I integrated kind of right. um, product. And then this is a little trippy, but like I would, I would cut my dad's hair like outside and he was big in the garden and, and into composting. So this is a little weird. Um, so we, I'd like right. compost his sure. hair and stuff, and then we'd plant the the weed in the garden, right? And then dry it downstairs in the basement, and then cook it up in the in the crock pot because you know I still have my lab at home, and right. so like the kind of the, the the molecules would go through go the full cycle, right? Right. Back into him, kind of if you think about it, and and that yeah. sort of was the essence of this like plant medicine thing that kind sure. of spoke to me. Well, you know, it, 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 it's it's only it's weird, I guess, to you know if you think of it like from somebody else if it's like oh it's but it's for him it's like oh that's beautiful like you know and i see how that actually in your mind it might be like this might actually work better <laughs> do you know what i'm saying like this might actually work better. well and you know? just think about your whole experience with your your dad and like you're you're helping him off this planet right yeah <laughs> and, and sort of this notion of our own mortality that was implicit in that relationship was part of that same like you know, that <laughs> cycle of life conversation. Yeah. You when know. you said helping them off the planet, man, you know, I'll tell you, uh, that's tough because it's it's so real. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, a lot of people don't understand when, 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 when our elders are passing, you know, unless you've really watched them go, you know, um, and I learned this in the hospital is that there's something called comfort care. You know, and when you get down to comfort care and you're letting your, your, your family member go, you're like, damn. Like, this is what comfort care is, you know what I mean? Like, I'd never even heard of the comfort care, the term, until I was laying my dad to rest, and I was sleeping on the, you know, the, the veterans hospital here in Long Beach, you know, on the floor, and, um, you know, they're like, you gotta go home, and I'm like, I don't think so. <laughs> like, you gotta go home, I'm like, nah, I think I'm cool. My brother and I looked at the doctor, we're like, yo, bro, like, our dad's gonna die tonight, and he's like, no, he, he'll be fine. I'm like, we're not leaving, bro. You know, we're like looking at him like, we're not going, you know, and it was, it was like, God, that's amazing. you know, and then he passed that night, you know, wow. and the doctor was like, he, he, you know, I thought we were going to have to deal with security, but we just literally like, we, we didn't even leave. We, we, we got right there and we just cuddled up on the floor and just laid down there. No blankets, <laughs> just wow. lay right. Because we knew like he didn't, he, that was the only day that he wasn't at, at all responsive, like not even a twitch. It was like. You know, like, yo, we don't see him, you know, and it was just so hard and it was just like, damn, and we're trying to keep him comfortable. That's why he's like this. And I'm like, yeah, but my dad, like I, you know, my dad was a fighter. Like he'd always every day give us some kind of a, you know, a, a little <laughs> like a move, you know, like, oh, you're, you're still kicking. Oh, you can hear us. Okay, cool. He'd give us something, you know, and then that day he couldn't give us anything. It was like, damn. Okay, you know, I think he might be dying tonight, so let's just stay here. Because, it, you know, it was hard to stay there every day, you know what I mean? Like, every night, you know, all night, you know, every day. But we'd be there every day after work or in the mornings, you know. And, and finally, like I said, that last day, as my brother and I just kind of knew. And they, he wasn't expected to die for another two days or something, according to the doctor. But 
and, uh, and we were both like, nah, he's gonna, he's gonna pass. And we just laid there on the floor that night, and uh, that was his, his last night. But that's learning about that comfort care and understanding that what these products can do for people is 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 truly, you know, one of the reasons I believe so heartily is, is being in the cannabis industry is because we're doing something that that. You know, not everybody understands because for so many years it's been demonized. Mm -hmm. You know, and 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 probably right in some way, rightfully so, because of how it was used. Right, it was used for you know party celebrations sometimes, and maybe not for all the right purposes. But at the same time, you know, while others may see that's party and celebration, we see it as rituals and and meditation. You know, and that's where it's like that party and celebration to you maybe my ritual and meditation med meditating you know what i mean versus just like us here we're going to have shots or we're going to do this you know the other people will use cannabis for those things so uh, this brand is 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 a solid brand, guys out there. If you if you're you know looking to get quality CBD or THC, man, make sure you check out Pop and Barkley. They do have a superior product out there. And, and is there anything that we you know didn't cover that you that you do want to cover at the at the moment? Well, first of all, I want to thank you. for We're not sure. gone yet. We're not leaving. I'm not cutting you out. I got a whole <laughs> other segment with you, but just 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 to let you know, don't. But but anything else that, like right now that. Yeah, well, I, I, I did want to thank you for sharing that uh, story and, and that experience you had with your brother. That was powerful and thank you, intense. Man. And in terms of other stuff for us, I mean, I mean, I would tell you about that we're based up in Eureka, which is uh, yep. the, the center of Humboldt County, and we work with the farmers up there, and that's part of who we are as well, trying to support the community and access the best sun-grown flower that... Uh, that we can get to make these products, but now any cool farm you want to shout out? Where, where, where do you get? Do you have your own farm or? Uh, no, well, I would shout out uh, Alpenglow Farms. Craig Johnson is an amazing grower who I respect a lot and is doing all sorts of interesting things up there. Um, Mike Egan, who is not only a cannabis farmer but is a mushroom farmer, and those guys are together doing some interesting things with uh, mycelium injection nice. into hay bales, creating. A soil medium for nice. the cannabis plants and some well, gotta molecular cross pollination shit and whatnot. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out to those guys for sure. Great. Emerald yeah. Queen Farms as well. Dave. Fantastic, man. Well, listen, guys, it's Cannabis Talk 101. When we come back, we're going to do the high five with Adam of Papas and Barclays. It's Cannabis Talk 101. We'll be right back after this break.